Americans have been forced to exercise some patience during what some have called the dumbbell and kettlebell shortage. There's no dumbbells, like weights are kind of hard to come by right now because when all the gyms shut down, everyone kind of made a rush to the stores and I was a little late on that one. 65% of exercise equipment in the United States ships from foundries in China, which has encouraged American companies like Golden's Foundry and Machine Company in Columbus to get creative. We were seeing a similar thing with our cast iron barbecues that a lot of our competitors bring their things in from China and so they were similarly affected, but that we currently weren't making kettlebells or dumbbells. Golden's Foundry, which began in 1882, had made kettlebells in the past, but could not compete with the big companies. Now during COVID-19, local foundries were needed to share the weight. Well, these things come in as, as steel scrap, and we take that scrap and we melt it in our induction furnaces at very high temperatures. We pour that iron in, it fills up that space to make that casting. So every kettlebell it really is going to be unique. Once the kettlebells are cast and painted, they're ready to be lifted up and swung into your home gym. Oh man, I get my work out here swinging kettlebells left and right all day. It's amazing how much moving that weight around gives you kind of an all body workout. George Boyd Jr. hopes the kettlebell shortage encourages consumers in the future to choose American made products. It kind of shows the importance of American manufacturing and our ability to make things here. So we've had a really big response to it and because we're a nimble American manufacturer, we were able to change our production over and start making them. There's no exercise excuses. The iron is right here in our own backyard. Reporting from Columbus, Larissa Liska, WLTZ First News.